y'all, it is Nikki. Welcome back to the channel. So this week I learned something new as I was working through the textbook for my intro to creative writing course. This chapter was all about focus, which is something that I really struggle with as a writer and apparently a ton of other writers do too. And one of the exercises we were asked to try for this week was the Pomodoro technique, which I had actually heard of before because that is basically the basis for how most writers do writing sprints. So if you've ever joined me for a live stream writing sprint session or if you've joined other writers on YouTube, that's typically how it works. You set a timer for a certain amount of time. You go solidly for that amount of time. You're not checking emails. You're not getting distracted. You're just staying productive, staying in the moment. And then at the end of that timer, you also get a little break. Usually, according to my textbook, the standard is a 25 minute stint of productivity followed by a five minute break. And then if you wanna keep going, you set your timer for another 25 minutes and go again. And the ideal outcome is to get into flow, which is that ideal state when you're writing and the words are just flowing through you and it's all coming easily and you're like in the zone. So like I said, I have used the Pomodoro technique or thought I was using it for most of my writing live streams. I don't do it a ton on my own time, but whenever I do sprints with other people, that's typically how it's done. And I did not realize until I started reading this little section of my textbook that I had been doing it totally wrong the entire time. For one thing, one of the things I did not realize was part of the technique was trying to keep your fingers moving the entire time. For me, I am a slow writer in the sense that I'm not very good at just like going with it and okay, I'll make it better later, but right now I just need to get the ideas down. I'm getting better at that, but for the most part, I still struggle with trying to find the perfect way to say everything, which really, really bogs me down. So that was interesting. What would my session look like if I actually just tried to keep my fingers moving the whole time? Even if you're not writing something in your story, even if you're just like continuing to rewrite the same sentence over and over again until an idea strikes you. I think there's some mental benefit to keeping your fingers moving and to keeping that momentum and that forward motion going. Another thing that I realized I've been doing wrong was allowing my breaks to become real distractions instead of allowing them to kind of contribute to getting into flow. According to this little blurb that I found in my textbook, your break should actually help you to keep flow going. You should do things that will not break your concentration completely. So if you get up for your five minute break and do some like menial task, like washing the dishes or something, your hands are working and you are taking a break from writing, but you can still be thinking about what you were just writing and you can be planning for how you're going to start your next session. As opposed to what typically happens in like writing live streams, for example, where the break is typically the time where you like chat with people and catch up and talk about what you were writing. It's super, super fun, but I've realized that that actually is probably counterproductive for most people and yanks them out of whatever momentum they were getting by the end of the sprint. So apologies if I've ever done that to you guys. I wanna think about how I can maybe do writing live streams in a more effective way that like won't distract people or like pull them out of writing flow, but still leave space for us to kind of like chat and catch up on what people are working on. I don't know, I have to think about that. The point though is that I was excited to discover that there was more to this technique than I originally thought. And so in one of my like four-ish, five hour gaps this week <laughs> between classes, I actually took some time to work on just my personal project and to try the Pomodoro technique. I wasn't drafting strictly because I've been really, really stuck on this scene. It's Camaro again, guys. Ugh, this guy is just killing me. But it's an important scene, so I want to get it right. And I decided I was going to do sort of a mini Pomodoro, not drafting, but dialogue mapping, which is typically what I do if a scene is full of dialogue. I will just map out the dialogue like a script first and then go back and fill in the description and the action tags and all of that stuff. So in this like sunny, fairly empty section of my study area on campus, I set my timer and I just went and on my breaks, instead of checking my emails or doing whatever other distracting thing, I actually just like looked out the window, which was right next to me. So that was very convenient and just thought about what I had written and what I wanted to add. Just sort of allowed myself to stay in that writing space and in my world so that by the time the timer went off and I could go into my next little sprint, I already had plans for where I wanted to go and I could just jump right into it. It definitely helped me to get into flow. If I'd had a little more energy at the time, I think it would have been even better. I was exhausted and by the end of it, I was pretty much just sitting at my desk with like my head down 
not sleeping, but like not far off. So I'm hoping that I'll have even greater success when I try it again more alert this time. So that is what I learned this week and I am hoping to use that method more effectively and more often going forward because it was actually really helpful. I encourage you guys to try it too and let me know how it goes for you. Is it helpful? Do you find that it helps you to get into flow or not? Is there something else that I'm also doing wrong that I just haven't discovered yet? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, do not forget to spend some time in the clouds today.